Hi, I'm Michelle, AKA Shellster. This is my dad, Gilbert. He had recently retired to the Philippines, so I promised every time I come to visit, we would do something special. So I've heard from many people that Caron, Palawan is one of the most beautiful places in the Philippines, if not the world. So I knew this would be the next place on the list. While doing research on where to stay in Caron, I came across a place that was truly special. It wasn't a typical hotel, but rather a floating houseboat in a lagoon. It's the only place where you can actually stay in Caron Island itself. All other accommodations are within the town of Caron. This slice of heaven, it's called the Powan Houseboats. All right, there goes our ride. Oh, there's my dad, he's already chilling. This is all ours. Look at this. We have a little seating area. We wanted to just hang out, read a book. Here's my dad, just soaking it all in. And dad, in the morning, you can just jump into the water. Oh no, I'm jumping already later. Yeah, <laughs> right there. <laughs> right from your very own room. Here is our little deck. Again, all hours where we have sun chairs and a private dining table where we can take all our meals. And upstairs is my room. Okay, make sure I don't fall because that would really suck. Okay. My dad asked if I can jump from here. I don't think so. It's way too steep. <laughs> But what a beautiful view to fall asleep to, to wake up to. And I have two beds, but I only need one. You may be wondering why I booked such a large houseboat just for the two of us. Well, actually, Palin Houseboats kindly upgraded us from the room we originally booked. It just happened to be available, which is really super kind of them. Another great thing about Palin is that they are sustainable and eco-friendly. All the electricity is solar powered and they have to bring in fresh water every day from a distant natural spring. So here's our shower. So it has a sink in there and it's a pretty good shower. It's hot water. They have one of those uh, rain showers. They also have a handheld. And they have a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So here is the, the sink. Here is the special zero pollution toilet. So what you do is you turn this little knob to the left to put in water in the toilet. Then you move it back to the right and then you pump in order to flush. So you do it a few times until it's flushed. And then what it does is it goes into holding tanks and then is transferred to a septic tank and then eventually goes to a sewage treatment plant that helps process all the waste in a safe manner that doesn't go into the ocean. And it's powered by solar panels. Okay, enough of the showers and toilets. What are the fun things to do at your houseboat? Well, swimming, of course. How peaceful and meditative is it to literally swim outside your room? When you get tired of swimming, why not take one of the paddle boards provided to you by Pal Lin to explore your semi-private lagoon? Or how about a kayak? And when you're done, you can have a quick rinse on the dock. And now you've probably built up an appetite for my favorite pastime, eating. Our breakfast has arrived. Yay! Hello! Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that! Nice! I'm there at the end. Ah! And again. And boy, did we eat well! You have the option of taking your meals at the hotel's floating restaurant, but we absolutely loved our room and decided to just take all our meals there. They had many options from Filipino food to even the Italian food, since Paolo of Paolin is Italian. And everything is made to order. 
They go shopping daily at the town of Caron to make sure everything is fresh. So while it's hard to leave our gorgeous room, we decided to take a half-day tour of Caron Island. What's great about Powlin is that instead of booking a group tour in town and starting at 9 a.m. or so, you can book a speedboat with a private tour guide who will pick you up directly at your houseboat. And since you're already in the center of everything, you can leave at 7 a.m. and get a head start before all the other tourists. Our first stop of the tour was Kayangan Lake. In order to visit these sites, there is a nominal entrance fee that you need to pay to the native Tagbanua tribe since Koron Island is their ancestral domain. These super small fees help improve the living conditions for the Tagbanua people. In order to get to Kayangan Lake, you must go up and down 360 steps total. So it was a really good workout for my dad and I. But boy, was it worth it to see this amazing view. Oh man, that's gorgeous. And the second reward for our efforts is getting to go down the stairs to finally see Kayangan Lake. So the tourists, they come later, huh? Oh good, so we miss all the tourists. Not that we aren't tourists. <laughs> we, we are also tourists. <laughs> Kayangan Lake. A crystal clear freshwater lake dubbed the cleanest lake in the Philippines. There's my dad. There's my dad taking a swim. See the monkeys? I know. Look at the monkeys. Look at them. They're so agile. <laughs> All right, I we're here at, we're on our way to Barracuda Lake. We're gonna dock first. There were significantly less steps this time. <laughs> this is Barracuda Lake. Snorkeling here was so beautiful. The corals were very untouched, and there were lots of dories and nemos and rainbow fish all over the place. Last stop, Vivian Beach for some chill time. Since it's a private tour, we chose to skip a spot or two so as not to feel rushed. Hi, Dad. It's my dad buying some chips. What you got, Dad? Multigrain. I got cheese on chips. What we got? Bingo. And I loaded up. Bingo. <laughs> Chocolate. Overload. This is Chocolate. Black Forest something. <laughs> now back to our houseboat for some more chill time. Oh, chill. I thought you were feeling <laughs> have such beautiful accommodations, this is kind of just what you want to do all day. There's a lot of awesome tour options as well as scuba experiences that you can choose from. However, 
my dad and I decided just to do a quick visit to the town of Corona to check it out so that we could get back to our houseboat and chill some more and maybe get massages, which they do offer at Palin. Hello, we're gonna go we're sh souvenir shopping. Bye. It was a bit rainy in Corona today. However, what's great about Palawan is that the rain is pretty sporadic, so it probably won't rain all day. Here we are, souvenir shopping. My dad got a bunch of sandals. Ooh, look at all the souvenirs. Ooh. Tribu bar and tattoo. So dad and I are gonna get a drink, and then we're gonna get a tattoo, right dad? Uh, yeah, I'll go for a drink, but no, no tattoo. No way, no way. After my dad and I were done souvenir shopping, we decided to kill some time by taking a trike ride around town. The trikes here are a little bit different than the ones you might see in Manila, so we had a fun time riding and exploring around in one. Riding a trike around Coron City. <laughs> We had a super fun time in the town of Caron, but it was time to switch back to relax mode. Back to our hotel room. My city of Caron. So that was our trip. It was definitely one for the books. I just want to thank Marites, Karam, all the Banca boys, the cleaning staff, and everyone at Paolin for making our time here so special. Another reason I love Paolin is that they are almost completely staffed by the Tag Benua tribe members. In addition, they donate rice regularly to them, pay the costs for their medicine, and so much more. They also rescue stray dogs and cats, which is a cause close to my heart because I love animals. Makes me feel even more honored to have stayed at such a magical paradise. Bye, Coron. We'll see you next time.